bears on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I have Gerald Salinti from Trends Journal with me on the line. And I was just given this article from uh, Kit Daniel. Just went up on the. Uh, Infowars.com website, TSA to raise groping fees that are being charged to passengers. That's right. They're going to raise fees. And of course, these are going to be fees that are hidden in your airline ticket prices. They're, the new fees are going to be $5.60 for a nonstop flight and an extra $5.60 for each leg of the trip. This kind of reminds me of that movie, uh, Brazil, that uh, Terry Gilliam did, kind of a uh, Monty Python take on 1984, where they, they've got the wrong guy, but they come in with a SWAT team raid. They break into his apartment. They put the black bag over his head. And then while he's tied up uh, and while they've got, they let one hand loose while he's uh, in the bag, they have him sign a sheet of paper agreeing to uh, pay for his interrogation. You know, that's that's what this has come to. It's, it's not a joke anymore. It's, uh, you look at... Uh, Night, you look at Brazil, and instead of laughing at it, you're saying, yeah, that's that's happening now. You know, that was something decades old, but now we see that happening. And before I get back to Gerald, I, I just want to tell you that we just finally got back in stock a limited supply of InfoWars Lung Cleanse. Uh, that's not going to last long, so uh, you can go to InfoWarsLife.com. Uh, get that while supplies last. Of course, that's uh, something to help you. It's an herbal lung cleanse, the most powerful on the market uh, to help you 
to help support your respiratory system, to help you deal with the toxic air and the environmental uh, issues that you get from breathing our toxic environment. That's available now for a limited time, finally back in stock. So, Gerald, what do you think about uh, the TSA charging us, uh, adding these hidden fees to our uh, airline tickets? Well, you know, if was, before I get into that, I was, I, was, I was mentioning about the Bloods and the Crips. Mm -hmm. They're the Democrats and the Republicans. They're murderers and they're thieves. You know, when I get emotional, I was talking about the Zizzi, what this country used to be like and what it's turned into. I mean, I've been around. I know what it was. And it breaks my heart. And so when I say the Bloods and the Crips, I'm not saying that sarcastically. Oh, Look yeah. what they've done to Iraq. Mm -hmm. Look what they've done to Afghanistan. Look at the murder on their blood on their hands. Look how they steal our money. You're talking about the TSA now. Oh, yeah, that's going to stop it. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, David, how about these uh, millions of people that are coming over the border? Not concerned about them. Dress up like Al Qaeda or mm -hmm. Al Nusra. I mean, if anybody wants to come in, hey, you know, you get online, man. It's a long line. They keep flowing over. Who are they BSing with this crap that by listening to us, by feeling us up, by stealing our money, and by sending our people to go kill other people, that they're protecting us? And the imbeciles believe this garbage? And this I mean, is a I can't stop kids from coming over the border. Well, it's the same agency. It's the same agency that is groping people at the airports and now adding fees to our tickets that has essentially opened our borders to uh, literal gangs that are coming across with a part of this drug war. That More people are dying in Mexico than have died in Afghanistan and in Iraq. And that's the drug war that our government is, is supplying as well as saying that they're fighting it at the same time. And now they're bringing that violence into our country opening the borders while they increase the harassment of people who come in via airplanes, who come in legally. And again, it's not only here. Just mm -hmm. what the Nobel Peace Prize winner did when he and Samantha Powers and Susan Rice and Hillary Clinton did with the destabilizing Libya, overthrowing a sovereign government and destabilizing the entire region with the with the with the uh, covert war in, in Syria, with the destabilization, with the Iraq war, Afghan war. They're flooding into Europe. They can't stop them. Last week, like two weeks ago, it was like 8,000 people just coming into Italy. That's right. So it's a destabilization worldwide being caused by people who are mentally ill. Does anybody have to see a sicker SOB than Cheney or Kerry? That guy's always shooting his mouth off, man. One loser after another, one vicious war, and people are wondering why it's not working. So when I say bloods and crips, I mean it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm looking at the... The spring edition of Trends Journal, people can get that at trendsjournal.com. The cover says, war or peace, we the people should decide. You have a lot to say about the Iraq war, how we got into that 11 years on, and, and look at what's happening now. We see this all folding up, don't we? David, a trend alert. February 18th, 2003. Weeks before the war, Gannett News had asked me to do a op-ed piece, and then we expanded it for the subscribers to the Trends Journal. Here's what we said. While the victory on the battlefield may be swift considering the massive military power of the United States, the war against Iraq will be eventually lost. And we said it would devolve into a civil war, unrelenting suicide attacks against coalition forces against, and people vowing to fight down to the last man to repel invaders. It keeps going on. Trend alert. March 28, 2005. Iraq. Trend update. Real war, fake democracy. What's next? Top trend trends 2005. Doing the Iraq drag. <laughs> Washington's promise and the Pentagon's prophecy that this year's elections will establish democracy and facilitate U.S. troop reductions 
are as inaccurate as claims made last year by Vice President Dick Cheney that the Iraq war is behind us and Major General Raymond or the Erno's predictions that, quote, we have six to 12 months left of this insurgency. Yeah. On yeah. and on and on. We've been documenting it from before the war happened, saying exactly what would happen. And what does the prostitute media do? They keep bringing back all of the losers as this thing is going down the toilet to ask them what they should do next and what they see ahead. Well, you know, I think the public looks at this and says, uh, look at this, it was a failed invasion. It was a failed counterinsurgency. The whole point is to keep war continually going, isn't it? They knew they weren't going to win this counterinsurgency. Again, yes, and it goes back to 9-11. Yes. You know, we, the New Trends Journal's coming out in, in a couple of weeks, and we really broke this, this down. And you look, go back just a few weeks before the 9-11. Bush's popularity in the polls was down to 51%. This is a newly elected president. He's only in office several months. They were slashing the defense budget. Then you go listen to his speech to the nation, to the House of, Repre the House of uh, uh, Representatives, and how everyone stood up and applauded when they announced they were going to increase the military budget by $40 billion overnight. Mm -hmm. And this, by the way, is on the heels of the dot-com crash that happened in March of 2000. And the United States is going into the toilet in a recession. So when you start putting the pieces together, it all goes back to Eisenhower. Yeah. That's right. the military industrial complex taking over the nation. And now, very interesting, very interesting. Today's papers, Financial Times, Wall Street Journal, New York Times, big, big articles. And you know who they're buying? Brought to you by the National Association of Manufacturers and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. America America's interests are at stake in Russia and Ukraine. There we go. We've got to have and a you know war. Yeah. No, yeah. they're calling for peace. They're calling for, for prosperity. They're calling for no sanctions. They can see the handwriting on the wall. Oh, really? They know that the United States is in no position for more war. And that's what we're writing about. This is, again, the Chamber of Commerce? Yeah, and the I'm National surprised. I hadn't... The manufacturers. That is news. That's like a complete 180 to turn around because, you know, we look at, as you pointed out, 9 11, defense budget is going down. They say we don't have any uh, anybody to fight, so they've got to create a new enemy. And they create a new bureaucracy, Homeland Security, where they expand the military industrial complex, not just to fight wars abroad but to bring it home and to create a police state industrial complex. You know, it was Madison who said that if tyranny ever comes to these lands, it will be in the name of fighting a foreign enemy. Well, we've got that now. That same organization, Homeland Security, we're just talking about collapsing the borders and then harassing people and charging them as to, to grope them, to uh, take away their freedom and their dignity at the airport. So I'm really surprised to see the uh, Chamber of Commerce and manufacturers saying we don't want to have a, a, a nuclear war. I thought these guys would be all for it. <laughs> That's good news. Again, they know the numbers. Yeah. And the numbers are that the economy, again, you look, at the, you look at the markets as we're talking. You know, they're down Y. Oh, the other thing, they, the first quarter was, was terrible. Now they're downgrading the second quarter. Everybody that's real knows what's going on here. We're wasting over a trillion dollars in total expenses on the so-called military, industrial, and cyber complex. And then you're looking again back at the back at the real numbers here. The, the economy is going down. The people in the know know that we cannot afford more war. And that's what this trends journal is again. Bring on peace. Bring on prosperity. And what I'm launching and we're going to be doing it in the following months is an Occupy Peace Movement. 
And anybody that wants to sign up, they could go to OccupyPeace.us. This is only for America. You want to do it in your country, you do it. And I'm up here in Colonial Kingston.